pork bratwurst versus chicken bratwurst. I'm Scott Perkins from The Beard of Butchers. Today, we're gonna be making both. We're gonna make each in a Southwest taco flavor, each in a tailgater flavor, and then compare them. Now, you might be wondering, chicken bratwurst, maybe you've not heard of it. Pork bratwurst, of course, pork known as the other white meat. So in a sense, we're pitting the two white meats against each other. Everybody loves a juicy, flavorful bratwurst. How can you make that with chicken? You're asking why even make it with chicken? Well, maybe for a particular reason, like a religious reason, you don't wanna use pork, or you want to reduce the calories by using chicken, which if you do use chicken, you're gonna reduce your calories by about 40%. Um, and then we'll be putting these into a um, collagen casing. It's a beef collagen casing. So once again, if you're trying to avoid pork, um, you can do that. Now we're gonna do some demonstrations using whole chickens where we're gonna bone them out, take the meat from them. You can get a pork butt. You can do this um, with boneless trimmings that you acquire, whether it be like a chicken leg meat, we like to, if we are using trimmings on the chicken, we like to use 50% of the dark meat, 50% of the uh, white meat or breast meat. On pork, you can use, of course, a pork butt works really well, or just whole hog trimmings. If you're using a lean game meat, maybe you wanna get some of our pork fat um, or our beef fat online. So uh, we get the chance to try pitting the two white meats against each other, see what kind of bratwurst we come up with. Let's get started. I don't do a ton of work with the fowl, but the objective here is to take the skin off and take the bones out. So we don't wanna grind the skin. Now on certain items like the wings, it might just not make sense for you to take the meat off of those. You can, of course, just eat them like they are and save the hassle of trying to get the, the little bit of meat off of there. Some breast meat. Some boneless leg meat. You a dark meat or a white meat guy? You know, this is interesting. As I got older, I switched. And I, my grandfather, I remember we would go out for chicken dinners and he would always get the... Um, dark meat and I was like that's gross he would get a cup of black coffee a water and a dark meat dinner and here I am getting a black coffee a water and a dark meat dinner hot take you're not eating dark meat you're just wrong you're just young you're just well I don't even know about that because my dad's old and he only likes white meat well oh he's not that old sorry <laughs> There's some more of the leg meat. So you'll notice on the, you got the boneless, skinless breasts and some tenders and whatnot here. And then you have this leg meat, which has the fat in it. So we like to mix with chicken. We like to mix about 50% um, leg meat, 50% of the breast meat. So that way you get a nice juicy bratwurst. Of course, you can save the carcass and make some 
broth. And these wings, I mean, if you want to bone them out and get the meat off of there, you can. Or you can just make yourself some separate chicken wings um, just as a little treat while you're doing your butchering. So off that first chicken, it weighed just over three and a quarter pounds and we were left with exactly two pounds of boneless meat. Of course, if you have chickens, something that you should keep in mind is like a stewing chicken would make a great bratwurst. So a chicken that you otherwise didn't want to eat as a whole bird or parts of it. Similar to the way we talk about game meat, it's just a great way to use it, maybe being tough or something by grinding up and put it into a bratwurst. So that gives you some idea on how many whole chickens you might need. This one started out weighing about three and a quarter pounds, and we're left with two pounds of boneless trimmed meat from one chicken. So Scott did his part with the chicken. Now I'm gonna do my part with the, with the pork butt. Keep in mind, you can go grab pork butts at your local grocery store, your local butcher, get a whole pork butt like this, take this blade bone out and make yourself some trim. The, the fat ratio in a pork butt really is about perfect for making brats. So. It's also the perfect cut to smoke and make pulled pork. But today, the use is pork brats. So we're just gonna cut this up in cubes. It'll fit through our made with meat grinder. You can see the nice fat to meat ratio inside that pork butt. Make a nice and juicy bratwurst. Pretty simple process. Get yourself a good knife. Today I happen to be using the Montana Knife Company collab that we did where we helped design this six inch boning knife. Once you get this cubed up, you can get it weighed, add your seasonings and your cheese, and just start making brats. So there's a pork butt all boned out, ready for bratwurst. So we've got everything trimmed out. I've got 25 pounds total um, and then 25 pounds total. So of the pork trimmings, 12 and a half pounds, the chicken trimmings, 12 and a half pounds, 12 and a half, 12 and a half. Reason being is we're gonna make 25 pounds. Our bags make 25 pounds. We're gonna split the Southwest um, taco seasoning. So we're gonna split it in half. We can put half of the pork, half of the chicken. It's gonna get hot pepper cheese, which we'll split in half as well. And then over here, we're gonna make the tailgater. We're gonna split this bag in half, put half of it with our pork, half of it with our chicken. Um, again, the reason being these are, these are formulated for 25 pounds, and since we're making half pork, half chicken, we're gonna split them in half. That's easy to do, and then the tailgater's gonna get Swiss cheese. So let's split our spices, get things spiced up, get ready to do some grinding, get ready to do some stuffing. Our taco seasoning, the 17 ounce bag that I'm gonna split in half is the same as our taco seasoning that comes in the four pound bag the shaker, the sample pack, or the single serve, those are for one pound. Uh, we put it in a 25 pound bag so you can use it uh, for your bratwurst or your DIY stuff. So 17 ounces, I just gotta split it in half uh, for each 12 and a half pound batch. The smell just- It's amazing. Opening that bag. It's amazing. It's the smell so has got me going already. There we go. 8.5 and 8.5. It says 1.09 pounds. I hate, this guy. I hate doing the math. math. I was wrong. It's a 17 and a half ounce bag. Seth, correct me. Not 17 ounce. Okay, I'm just going to weigh it. 11 ounces. 11 ounces. This is our tailgater seasoning. Tailgater because it's a great brat, a mild salsa flavored brat that we started making around tailgate season. The idea is you just drop the tailgate and have yourself 
a brat. You've caught us making some DIY bratwurst, which of course you can do at home using our DIY bratwurst making kits. You have to provide the protein. If you don't wanna do that, you can have shipped straight to your door a package of our most popular flavors, a variety pack, or you can get one box with all the same flavor. These ship direct to your door. These are pork bratwurst made with the Bearded Butcher's Blend seasonings. Just like we're doing today, you can have these shipped directly to your door. Go to beardedbutchers.com. We're gonna add our taco seasoning to our 12 and a half pounds of ground or chicken trimmings. Stir this in, get it all nice and evenly distributed before we grind it. Same process for the tailgater. And we'll repeat this through on the pork as well. Mixing our seasonings right into the meat before we grind it. Starting by grinding our chicken tailgater through our made with meat dual grind grinder. So I only need to grind this one pass. Starting with some meat down there in the worm to keep it free flowing. Um, Scott's hot tip, this is slightly frozen. That's a great way to prove your grinding efficiency is you don't want it to be warm, especially with, with chicken, it's kinda goopy anyway. So there's our ground up seasoned tailgater. And this one gets our high melt Swiss cheese. We found that's the best flavor profile. We just drop those right in there and then you just kind of knead these into your mix. Get them evenly distributed. There's our tailgater ready to set aside until we get to stuffing. Now we're on to our taco seasoning. Taco seasoning, we do high melt, high temp, hot pepper cheese. This one is one of my absolute favorites. The mouth is watering right now as we speak. It smells so good. And of course you don't have to add the cheese if you don't want. Uh, maybe you don't do cheese, but if that's the case, you can just buy the packet of seasoning flavor by itself or you can buy the kit that has the bratwurst casings and the, and the cheese with it. So we cleaned out our grinder, washed it up after the chicken, and now we're started on the pork tailgater. Look at that beautiful double ground perfectly ground, mix in our Swiss cheese. We're on to the uh, last grind of the day, which is the 12 and a half pounds of Southwest taco pork. All done grinding, now our hot pepper high melt cheese onto our taco blend. Now to the grinding step, 12 and a half pound batch. It's a stuffer, bro. 
<laughs> now to the stuffing step. 12 and a half pound batches with the cheese and seasonings added. So 13 pounds or so easily will fit in our stuffer. This is the new electric stuffer by Made With Meat. Makes life pretty easy. Just gonna hit the auto down button. And we're kind of keep an eye on eye on it as we go. As this plunger goes down, we want to release a little bit of that air. There's a nut on the top, so we'll just let some of the air release. While that's happening, 32 millimeter collagen fresh casing that we offer. These two strands will do 25 pounds. Pretty simple process. No reason to pre-soak or anything like that. Just put them on your horn. And then once the plunger meets the meat, you'll see it extrude from the horn and we will start filling our casings. Okay, I'm hearing some resistance. And there we have product. See some of those pieces of high temp cheese in there. I can see some of that salsa, some of those greens, some of that pepper. If you've never had chicken brats or chicken sausage, you're missing out. Texture's a little bit different than pork, but they are they are incredible. Which one are you guys most excited for of the four? Chicken taco, can't wait for it. So I did have this stuffer on the manual auto mode, I just where you just hit the down button to get that plunger down to the meat. Now I have the foot pedal hooked up, so now I can run this with my foot pedal, which makes it super handy, so. Now we're at the bottom. I'm simply going to hit the auto back up and we're gonna take the plunger all the way up and refill. Look at that chicken taco. Mmm, it's got that hot, that hot pepper cheese in there. Man, oh man. So our pork needs a little bit of water just to keep it lubricated when we stuff it. We've learned in the um, processing, it's a great processing aid. You don't have to add a lot. 16 ounces would be plenty usually for a batch this size. Kind of go based on feel, but if it feels sort of tight, add a little bit of water for lubrication, makes that stuffing process all the easier. Something I do want to mention about these 32 millimeter fresh casings that we offer. So when we sell them on our website, they are, they're not completely vacuum sealed, but the bag is sealed. So that takes the, doesn't allow any oxygen into the bag. So what that does is it prevents the casings from getting brittle. So if you've had a bad experience with casings being brittle in the past, uh, you should give ours a try because they're, they're going to be nice and pliable and they don't split out on you as you're stuffing. So something to keep in mind when you buy our casings and you see them sealed like that in a vacuum pouch, that's why. On with the pork tailgater. Last but not least, pork taco. So what's great about this, Scott, think about this. We've only spent, what, hour and a half on this and we've kind of been taking our time because we're filming content we're stopping taking photos etc but imagine 25 pounds of pork 25 pounds of chicken you've got a couple friends some family members you're going to spend you know a holiday a saturday a weekend producing this type of product and putting 12 and a half pounds of each of these flavors in your freezer that you can enjoy you can share um, it's great, it's fantastic. Such a great way to utilize trim into something that is incredibly delicious. I, I eat brats probably three or four times a week. And you can be in complete control of the quality of, of what you're making. So from the protein to the spices that go in it, um, the equipment is an important piece of it because I feel like that really aids you so you can turn out a product that's you're not banging your head against the wall, so to speak. So no MSG, um, you know, gluten-free spices, no artificial flavors, and 
50 pounds, just over 50 pounds, because we added all that cheese and ingredients of some incredible pork and chicken broths. I can guarantee it's gonna taste a whole lot better than anything you get at the grocery store too. Oh, Way better. For sure. At this point, we're going to get these chopped up into links and we're gonna get them packed up and we're gonna get them grilled up. So stick with us as we get headed to the grill. midday brought action here at the farm pork tailgater going on the brio first so this is the pork taco chicken tailgater so we're going to put the tailgate on one side and the taco on the other pork in the back chicken in the front this outpost grill on this brio just works really good for stuff like this Guess he figures his work's done. He's just waiting to eat. Oh my. <laughs> Brats are coming off. These are the taco. So pork first and then the chicken. So there we have the pork taco. Now the pork tailgater. Chicken have just a couple more degrees. So I took these pork brats to just over 150, about 155-ish. And the chicken I'm taking to about 165. So they're taking just a little bit longer, but not too much longer. Our veggies are sizzling away and we're gonna build some brats for lunch. Chicken are done. What we say, Spencer? Up. Buns for America. Buns, yeah, we stand with buns. Uh, I'm not as good as that. Uh, thanks. You got it? Okay, I guess. chicken tailgater. These are some good looking buns. Aren't they? It's a brioche, nice and shiny. So we're only gonna do the tailgater with the veggies. And we're not going to do all of them, we're just going to do a couple. Roasted veggies, onions, peppers. Boy, look at that. It smells amazing. What would you do if you went up to a... You were at a ball game and you went up to the concession stand and you got one of these. Wouldn't that be awesome? I'd say, take all my money. <laughs> take my money. All right. It probably cost a whole lot more than what we made these for. Probably. So there's that. Okay, Scott. Okay, Seth. I'm going to load you up. <laughs> the taco are getting sour cream. It's 2024. I feel like we should have the squirt, the squirt bottle. I don't. I never understand the people that don't get the squirt bottles. I know. It's hot. It's so Super hot. hot. Some salsa. It feels like it's 91. And it's toasty. Virtually no wind. There's a shade tree, but unfortunately, we're not sitting under it. We can get our brats and go sit under it though. I feel like you're not going anywhere with those brats because they're going to be dropping yeah, goodness guess everywhere what? you they're go. They're going to be so amazing. They look amazing. So imagine like the best taco you've ever had but in a bratwurst form. Would you like some Rebel Red on yours? I would love some Rebel Red. Do it all. The works. Who wants the works? 
Okay. I feel like we should do barbecue then on the tailgate. That's what we're gonna do. Ho 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 hallelujah. We're gonna go plain bite on each one first so we can keep our palate somewhat cleansed of all of our added ingredients. And then we'll go with the loaded brats. Show me the inside of some of those. One chicken and one pork. Pork taco. Chicken taco. Hold on, let me focus. A hot we pepper go. cheese. Ooh. All right, Scott. Let's start with the just the order that we made him. Go down that line. I think you should try one chicken and then one pork of the oh, same that's flavor. Oh, Chicken tailgater. Chicken tailgater. Oh. That salsa, that clash of brat flavor, with that salsa flavor behind it. I'm a huge fan of the Tender, chicken brats. Juicy. Texture is just a little bit different than pork. Not quite as like soft bite, but how many of you even knew that you could make a chicken brat? Let us know in the comments. Now you know. Now you know. Pork. Mm. So you're right. Softer same, bite. Same flavor. Yep. Softer bite. A little bit more fat. Very good. Chicken taco. Here, you want the center? I'll take the end this time. Sure. Ooh. The most classic taco. Love the taco. It's one of my top three favorites. Tex-Mex mm. flavor. So good. Mild. Bursting with flavor. Amazing. And clean ingredients, too. Yeah, you're going to feel good after eating these, too. It's not right, just... absolutely. Oh, we got some lint. Mm. That feels good. Perfect. Wow. The biggest thing Amazing. that I'm noticing is just is the texture. Yeah, just the texture yep. change. It's just softer. Grab yourself. What do you want to do? I think we got to go right down through the line, and we just each hammer okay. like a big bite from, from... Well, let's just cut it in half. You want to? That way we can save some for everybody else. There we go. Here, you take that one. Oh. Mm. Rough day at the office. There's levels to this game, and fire roasted veggies with that barbecue sauce. Oh, coming back to that. That's so good. Now wait a minute. Chicken we gotta taco. go. We gotta go to pork. Oh, pork. I thought we were going down the line. Oh, let's of chicken. just do it. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's fine. Okay. Oh, you already know. Look at this. The messier, the better. Mmm. Oh, stop. Mmm. I knew that one was gonna be my favorite. That's amazing. Wow. That's what I'm talking about. Clean up on aisle three. So this is the pork now? This is the pork. Pork tailgate Got off the tailgate. Cheese right in there. Mmm. Mmm. You feed me a bratwurst like that. Wow. I'm not leaving. I'm like a stray dog. You better put me, buy me a collar, put my name mm. on it. That's so good. And to think that you can make this, at, you, I mean, you could do this at home. This process can be yeah. done by you and your friends and family. Watch it happen. You'll blow anybody's doors off with this. Look at that, Spencer. Hold on, let me focus. Now, I normally hand you a bite. Do you think you can do it? I I, I think I'll wait until I put the camera down on okay. this one. <laughs> Absolutely mm. amazing. I got to go clean my hands up. So for me, I feel like personal preference definitely plays a huge role in it. Of course, there's price, whatever, you know, pork's cheaper, um, or maybe it's not. And uh, so it mostly just boils down to your personal preference. If you're going for a healthier version, you probably want to choose the chicken. You can do it with turkey as well. Uh, but as far as a trade-off between flavor, between uh, the, the texture, I don't see a big trade-off. Yeah, because if somebody didn't tell you, you'd probably just be like, that's a really good bratwurst. And for me, I typically steer towards the chicken brats. That's just what I prefer. That's what I go to. 
um, just because of the, the less calories like Scott mentioned. But yeah, right here off the tailgate, we brought to you chicken tailgater, pork tailgater, chicken taco, pork taco brats. You saw it all right here and they're, they're incredible. So go get the equipment, grab the protein, grab the spices off beardbutchers.com and you too can be the absolute star of your show. And until next time, see ya.